Hello again. As you can see, we're not at the museum today. Instead, we decided to go off-site to the Ohio State University Airport, where the Civil Air Patrol is conducting some training exercises. We're going to talk to some people who work with the Civil Air Patrol and learn a little bit more about what they do. So let's check it out. I'm Lieutenant Colonel David Degevich. I'm the Vice Wing Commander in Ohio Wing. We're part of the Civil Air Patrol, which is a national program. Civil Air Patrol has been in existence since December 1st, 1941. We were actually before the Air Force and right before World War II. We started out in World War II flying coastal patrols and looking for submarines and stuff like that. And as the program grew over the years, we became auxiliary of the Air Force. So we are unpaid volunteers. We have three major programs to do emergency services, cadet program, and aerospace. The aerospace one is actually kind of fun because we go out, we allow our cadets to know how to fly aircraft. And we do have programs now where they're able to go on and get their pilot's license. We've changed our, our mission and our programs a little bit over the years to trying to get more and more youth involved. A 12 year old can join Civil Air Patrol. Um, we're not a feeder for the military, but they get a lot of military training and learn how to do stuff. And they can stay until they're actually 21 years old. So today's mission is a search mission for a uh, simulated uh, ELT. We, we call it a, a beacon. When an aircraft goes down, a beacon goes off, we have a simulated one, it's just a little box. We set it out somewhere. So they're gonna fly out till they find it. They'll fly towards it, see if they can get as close to it as they can. And then they'll bring a ground team in. So a van full of, uh, in this case, I know there's cadets on it and senior members will go out and then go find it and actually turn it off. We practice this so just in case an aircraft went down, we'd be able to find it fairly quickly because the first 24 hours, especially in a, you know, goes down in a wooded rural area, the first part of a uh, crash is very important to get to, get to the crew. My name is Mark Pagan. I'm a member of Civil Air Patrol. I've been a member um, for 20 years now. I really enjoy volunteering for this organization because of what I'm able to do for the community, how I'm able to serve, and because of the great people that I meet within this organization. Many of them do not have uh, an aviation background, but they have willingness to serve. And that's what uh, uh, makes for a good uh, CAP member. We hope you enjoyed learning more about the United States Air Force. For more stories, visit us in person at our museum Wednesday through Sunday, or check us out online anytime.